Hello, my friends. I'm going to be doing another squiggle pour today. There's all sorts of names that people have come up with, which is great fun. Uh, here's the dried result of the last one. And I have to say, I'm really liking it. Bring you in closer and um, it's just so fun. So I have plenty of leftovers, so I'm going to keep going until I use them up. Uh, these colors, and now today's background will be a light blue. I think that could be quite fun. I did I just mixed up a bunch of white and added maybe a 10% of turquoise blue because one of my colors is turquoise blue and I don't, um, I want it to show up. <laughs> so let me clear the deck here and get the blue put down in the background and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back and oh, this is such a pretty blue. It's almost a robin's egg blue. So here we go. I think I'll start with the dark blue. And look how much I have. I mean, this technique it does not take much paint. So you can get many done. Hopefully you like what you see. Otherwise, no point in making a bunch of paint up. Oh, Chris, stop talking. I kind of like a Y configuration. All right. And now we'll go to the darker turquoise. And deep magenta. Let's see, I, I'm still experimenting, so I don't know how it is to leave a bunch of um, negative space, because when I go to tilt, you know, some of this disappears. And I do want to have balance in my painting. And honestly, not too much paint. I did another one that I, I don't want to show you. <laughs> it was on a green, yellow-green background. And I thought that would be really pretty, but it was gross. And I also added some black to it for contrast. And I think my black was moldy. I mean, the it just looked disgusting. So that one is a goner. You won't be seeing that video. And I think I had too much paint on it also. So... There is a fine balance between the right amount and too much. Let's see, I've got uh, silver. What's this? Oh, this is the, the cobalt, metallic cobalt. That should be pretty on this, this light blue. Whoops, whoops. <laughs> it's okay to have actually big, um, you know, big blobs because that will help the, the piece, you know, have some interesting areas, maybe a focal area. And what's left? Just silver. I'm 
still in the just experimenting phase of this technique, so I don't really know what to say about it as I'm working on it, because I'm winging it. Okay. Time to tilt. I'm going to stop a moment and and look at this because I think I need more paint on there. Or what colors do I want more of? I think maybe that dark blue would be nice. It's just a little, these lines are so skinny that um, they're a little skimpy. Maybe instead of just, maybe I'll do this. Oh, that was bold, huh? And the copper, perhaps. Okay. I hope that wasn't a mistake, but we'll see. I'm not really liking it. I'm not liking especially that blue I put on. But what can I do? Maybe I can disguise it with some skinny lines. <laughs> I would complain about these lines being too skinny. Added the wide ones. I don't like the wide ones. Let me use some of this magenta. Maybe I just lucked out on those first two and I'll never be able to have the success again. I'm not sure how I feel about this big copper shape down here. In a way, I like it. I stretch this way out.
So I'm going to make a good amount of that thing go away. Like that. It's not as easy as it looks. <laughs> I think I kind of lucked out on those first two. Change up that straight copper line there. Doing that. <sighs> well, it's certainly better than the green one I did, but um, I'm not liking it as much as the other two. But it's not bad. I haven't varnished that red one yet. I think it's going to be so wonderful when it is. And this might too. I'll let this dry and I will take a look at it later. Let me bring you in for a closer look. What is that color there? It looks peachy. I think that might be the silver over something, maybe over the magenta. I like that part. I don't know. I like the colors. I'm just not as taken with the uh, overall look as, as the previous two. But that's fluid art. <laughs> okay, my friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time.